What's going on guys, Lobo Pixel here, back at it again with another video. And in today's video, we're gonna be doing a tutorial on how to set up your Elgato HD60S. I'm gonna be showing you guys how to set that up as fast and easy as possible for you guys. So this tutorial hopefully brings you a lot of value for your streams. If you're a YouTuber or a Twitch streamer, it's definitely gonna benefit you in the long run. Don't forget to join the Discord in the link in the description below. Our Discord is very helpful. When you guys have any questions in there, make sure to join and I will help you out the best that I can. But I will also be providing my free download section in my Discord. All the pictures that I'm going to be showing in this video, there's going to be a couple pictures just so you can help you navigate through this because I know all these cable plugins and everything could be very confusing. But these images helped me out a lot and I'm pretty sure it's going to help you guys as well. So, anyways, guys, let's just get on to the video and I'm going to show you guys everything so you guys can have a very smooth stream at the end of this video. First things first, you need to understand your capture card. There is one side that has three slots. HDMI input is what you're going to connect your console. The USB three slot that's in that side with the three slots, that's gonna go into either your PC or laptop that you're streaming from. The audio input jack, that's gonna be for your game sound. Now, if you don't have a chat link cable or third-party cable to plug in, you're not gonna get any game sound at all. So make sure to have one of those cables so you can get gaming sound. The other side of the Elgato capture card is an HDMI out. Now, that HDMI out is going to be connected to your main monitor or main TV that you're gaming from. So whatever you're looking at while you're gaming, that's going to be the HDMI that you're going to connect it to. I personally have an HDMI switch, which is basically a device that allows you to connect multiple consoles with other HDMIs and has a bunch of slots. I personally recommend it if you have more than one console. I do have a video on that. It's going to be right here in the bubble. It's a little tutorial video as well. So you might want to go check that out and see how that works. But I will be providing the HDMI switch link in the description below, just in case if you want to see it or not. Now we're going to go into the chat link cable, which is very famous for being very bad in durability. It's not as good as you think it is, but it gets the job done. I guess I've gone through like three or four of these cables. They don't do that well. The end with the split is going to go into your controller. And then this end is going to go into your headphones so you could chat with your party in PlayStation or Xbox. And then the other end goes into the capture card. Now, the only downside to this personally, when you have your headphones plugged into the chat link cable, you're not going to be able to hear any of your alerts or anything on your live stream. Very big downside to that. But you'll be able to hear your friends chat, have fun while playing a game. Now, my second choice, what I personally rather do is get a third party cable, which is what I use. Durability on this third party cable lasts a long time. I've only had to go through two of these and they have lasted me a very, very long time. The downside to this is it will provide you audio. The other female end of it, when you plug your headphones into here, it's not going to do anything. You're not going to be able to chat with anybody. What I personally suggest is going into a discord group call. It's kind of like the same thing. It's just using Discord. I personally think it's better. That's what I do. And with a third party cable, you will be able to hear your alerts and stuff and channel point redemptions because you'll be having your headphones plugged into your PC or laptop directly. So you'll be able to get every sound that's happening within that. Last cable that I want to go through is this ground loop cable called MPAL. Now, the reason why I'm telling you about getting this when your controller dies eventually you're going to have to charge it when you don't have this cable and you plug this into your capture card it's going to make an electric static noise that's really loud on your stream and you don't want that right so all you have to do is plug the chat link cable into the female part of the ground loop and the other end is going to go into your capture card it still fits the same it works fine now you can charge your controller Without having a buzzing noise, this prevents that from happening. So I highly suggest if you want that method and you want to use this and you want to charge your controller, I highly suggest that you get this ground loop cable. It's a really good price on Amazon. It's really cheap. I'll provide the link in the description below. It's really good. So now that we understand our capture card, we understand what are the inputs and outputs. We understand the cable options that we have. Now let's go onto the desktop. I'm going to show you guys where to download the correct software for your Elgato capture card. 
depending on which one you have. I'm going to show you guys where to download that. I'll leave the link in the description below so you download the correct one. Then we'll go into OBS Studio so I can show you guys how to set that up and how to set it up in also the Elgato software as well. Elgato downloads page. You should find it under a Windows section or a Mac section. Click the one that you're using and just download it and you should be good. But before going into the Elgato software, let's do one more step before setting that up. So we're going to go into your PlayStation settings. You're going to going to want to go to system all the way, I believe at the bottom, there's going to be a section here that says enable HDCP. But you're going to want to uncheck that. The reason why you got to uncheck that when you go into OBS, the actual capture of your console pops up. Now, I think Xbox has the same method. I'm not really sure because I don't own an Xbox. But I think it's pretty much the same thing. Just make sure to enable this and you should be okay. Also, big note, check to use applications within the console and uncheck if you want to stream so it could show onto your OBS. The last thing that you're going to want to do, hold your PlayStation button, go to your sound and devices settings. You're going to want to go down here where it says output to headphones. Instead of putting it in chat audio, you're going to want to put it in all audio. Now let's go into the Elgato software. Now that you have Elgato software downloaded, we could go into the settings and really important audio settings that you have to change. Now you're going to pick your capture card, which should be in this drop bar right here. You're going to click the right one that you're using. Go to the settings cog wheel right here. You're going to put input device what device are you using whatever you're using you're gonna pick that where it says audio input right here you're gonna want to change it to analog audio it defaults it from hdmi hdmi audio is gonna destroy your audio it sounds really bad it sounds very buzzy electric static type of thing analog audio fixes that so make sure to change that profile so 1080p 720p standard or mobile you could allow 60 fps if you want or if not you could uncheck it and it will be 30 fps quality depending on your set up, but it uh, best quality, low quality. You're going to have to probably test it a few times. You could change the picture quality. I like to put saturation up to eight. I think it shows and brings out more colors, audio, analog audio settings. Let's just say zero is too low and you can't really hear anything. I bump it up to four in OBS. I change up the audio a little bit here and there. That's the whole setup for Elgato here. The most important thing is change it to analog audio. That's the most important thing that you got to do when it comes to this part. Now that you're in OBS studio, what you're going to want to do is go down here. You're going to add a browser source or a video capture device. I have it under Elgato Gaming Capture. So you're going to add this. Make sure it's not layered on top of anything, right? So you're going to want to go in here. Once this pops up, there's going to be a section here where it says device Elgato Game Capture. But for some reason, sometimes I get like glitchy stuff happening. I don't know why. I pick personally Game Capture HD 60 because that's the capture card that I'm using all the way at the bottom. All this should be kind of defaulted. I leave it at default buffering. I put it on auto detect. Also audio output should be under capture audio only. And that's the whole settings for that. Very simple, very easy. I'll show you right now. Look, I'm going to turn on my PlayStation. There you go. Sorry, it took a little bit, but it is connected. That's how you add it onto your browser source and you see that everything working fine. The audio is working very well. There's another audio thing that you're going to have to change. And I'm going to show you guys again in OBS. One last thing before we finish this tutorial, you're going to want to go into the settings audio mixer cog wheel right here at the bottom where it says Elgato gaming capture. You're going to want to go here and go to advanced audio properties. This is very important because you want to make sure that when you're streaming, you want to make sure that your, your viewers or whenever you're recording, you want to make sure that the audio of the game that you're playing is going through to the recorded video or the live stream feed. There's a section here that's going to show desktop audio Elgato gaming capture. When you see this, you're going to want to change this. It might be defaulted to monitor and off, but you want to make sure to put it to monitor and output. This will give you gameplay audio for your stream and for your recordings for whenever you do those two things, the audio from the gameplay will for sure happen. And also if you're chatting with your friends on your PlayStation, it will allow you to be able to hear your friends chatting and it'll also be recorded and your viewers on your live streams will be able to hear it as well. And there you guys have it. There goes the full tutorial on how to set up your Elgato gaming capture card for your PlayStation 4, PS5, Xbox, etc. If you guys have a question or if there's something that I missed, make sure to put that in the comments down below. I'll try my very, very best to help you guys out. If you want to catch one of my streams and if you want to ask a question while I'm live, twitch.tv slash lobapixel. I usually stream Thursdays and Fridays, 7.30 p.m. ish Eastern time. Make sure to go to the links down below and i can answer your question right then and there so if you want to do that you can as well thank you so much for watching this video and i'll catch you guys on the next one peace out bye